Hi guys, just um, come across this uh, book. This is uh, 100 travel tips when you go to the Philippines. Now, I thought this could be uh, fantastic for new first time visitors to the Philippines or inexperienced travelers to, to that country. Um, it's a bestseller in, uh, in, in America. I think it's been around for quite a while, but I've only just come across it recently myself and I'm pretty impressed with it, I've got to say. Um, now, the cost of this book, if you want the hard copy, it's $14.99, but you can also get it on Kindle through Amazon for um, for $4.99, which is what I've done. So it's very easy and, and you can just uh, set it up and you can use it. You can use it either on your laptop, your, your desktop, or your iPhone, so it's fantastic like that. But just a quick look at what it, what what they um, what's inside of it, I guess. Um, so she just, she just talks a little bit, you know, about what uh, the book is about, I guess. And then it has the introduction, so it gives you things like talking about things like in, in in the book when to visit, what you need to enter, so you know visa requirements that sort of thing, how to get there, what you can do, uh, sorry, what you can and should bring, so stuff you should bring, clothes, etc cultural reminders, language, what to wear, getting around accommodation, dining, health and safety, traveling with kids, shopping, tour attractions, top sports activities, and off the beaten path, recommendations from locals. As you go through it, there's some very interesting stuff in there. Um, when to visit, so the best time of the year is, you know, uh, when to visit, when when there won't be, uh, I guess, um, the likelihood of big storms or anything like that. Um, avoid holidays and peak periods if you can, she says. Time, time you visit during festivals for more fun. So yeah, some of their festivals are absolutely fantastic. I'm sure, um, Jeff over there at uh, Philippines, I was fun with JLB, he's seen quite a few festivals and he'd agree with that I'm sure. Um, so yeah, there's about the, what you need to, to enter the country, the visa requirements, is how to get there. So you can either fly straight into Manila, uh, the capital city, but you don't have to go in that way either. That's the most strategic point to go in, she says. But you can uh, avoid, if you're wanting to avoid the uh, hustle and bustle of the city, uh, the big city you can go in straight through Cebu or up into Luzon. So you don't always have to go straight in through Manila. Uh, you can connect through other Asian countries to central Luzon. So that'd be, that would be, I'd imagine, through uh, Clark Airport there. Um, what else has it got in this interesting stuff? You talk about bringing cash and major credit cards um, and the minimum amount, ten, uh, the, sorry, the maximum amount you're allowed to bring in 10,000 10, US dollars or equivalent in other foreign currencies before you have to declare. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, bring enough of your prescribed medications. So, you know, plan ahead a little bit bring your preferred toiletries if you're sensitive so they're, they're just good little tips you know all these are good little tips that you might not think about um, you know the, all, that was about what culture cultural cultural reminders there in the Philippines so just the differences between the Western and uh, over in the Philippines that you might want to be aware of before you go You know, greet with a handshake or smile, show respect for elders. They're very big on that over in, in the Philippines. So there's a lot of stuff in here. I could go through this for ages, but I won't. Um, so as I say, it's a, it's a fantastic little um, book and you don't have to buy the hard copy. You can get it cheap for $4.99. If you, if you buy the hard copy, $14.99, but it's also going to cost you uh, for postage. Um, so I found the way to go um, was to pay the $4.99 on Kindle, there's no shipping fees and there, there's the, uh, it's just a Kindle I'll just show you there how it comes up, I'll just get rid of that and I'll click on my Kindle over here, I'll drag that there so we can see it so Kindle, we open that up
and you straight away because it's the only one I've got on there at the moment. Um, that's it comes up, and you just you just uh, click on that, and you can get reading into that straight away. Bang, bang. So it's a uh, it's a fantastic way of getting it, and you don't have to pay a fortune for it. So four ninety nine. That's a uh, that's great value in my in my opinion. So if anyone wants the this to get this on Kindle or you want the hard copy, I've got a link in the description box. Click on that and knock yourselves out, guys. It's easy to get on on Kindle. So um, yeah, have have a ch check it out if you like it. Grab it. It's very handy. You don't even have to take anything with you when you go. Just be all on your iPhone. So it's awesome value. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.